Have you not heard of that madman who lit a lantern in the bright morning hours, ran to the marketplace and cried incessantly, I'm looking for God, I'm looking for God. As many of those who did not believe in God were standing together there, he excited considerable laughter. Have you lost him then, said one. Did he lose his way like a child, said another. Or is he hiding? Is he afraid of us? Has he gone on a voyage or emigrated? Thus they shouted and shouted and laughed him to scorn. But the madman sprang into their midst and pierced them with his glances. Where is God, he cried. I'll tell you, we have killed him, you and I. We are all his murderers. But how have we done this? How were we able to drink up the sea? Who gave us a sponge to wipe away the entire horizon? What did we do when we unchained this earth from its sun? Whither is it moving now? Whither are we moving now? Away from all suns maybe? Are we not perpetually falling backwards and forwards, sidewards and in all directions? Is there any up or down left? Are we not straying through an infinite nothing? Do we not feel the breath of empty space? Has it not become colder? Is not more and more night coming on us all the time? Must not lanterns be lit in the morning? Do we not hear anything yet of the noise of the grave diggers who are burying God? Do we not smell anything yet of God's decomposition? God's decomposed too, you know, and God is dead. He remains dead and we have killed him. Now, how shall we, the murderer of all murderers, compose ourselves? That which was holiest and mightiest of all that the world has ever possessed has bled to death under our knives. Who will wipe this blood from us? With what water can we purify ourselves? What festivals of atonement? What sacred games will we need to invent? Is not this the greatest of deeds too great for us to handle? Must not we ourselves become God? Simply to seem worthy of it. There has never been a greater deed, you know, and whoever shall be born after us for the sake of this deed shall be part of a higher history than all history hitherto. Here the madman fell silent and again regarded his listeners. They too were silent and they stared at him in astonishment. At last he threw his lantern to the ground and it broke and went out. I come too early. My time has not yet come. This tremendous event is still on its way, still traveling and it has not yet reached the years of men. Lightning and thunder require time. The light of the stars requires time. Deeds require time even after they have done before they can be seen and heard. This deed is still more distant from them than the distant stars and yet they have done it themselves. It has been related further that on the same day this madman entered diverse churches and there sang a requiem, Eternum Dale. Led out and quieted, he said to have retorted each time, What are these churches now, if they are not the tombs and sepulchres of a dead god? We have killed him.